Thinking out of the box. What box? What's wrong with thinking inside the box? If you're stuck in a coffin, you need to think inside the box and quickly. In fact, it doesn't really matter what you think in a coffin, you're stuffed. Unless you're in a film. In which case, you can do anything you like. Like ordering the worms to dig you out. Worms, assemble! Crazy, yes? No, this is thinking outside the box. In the real world, there are many obstacles. They block you in like walls. Hmm, you must unlearn what you have learned. Absolutely right, Yoda. Loving your work with Vodafone, by the way, sell out. Mm, my pension is his. It's true, you have to be careful what you say and what you do for lots of reasons. But sometimes, it's more about confidence. In the creative sphere, there are no such restrictions. Anything goes. So you need to get over that. Let your mind wander into new areas. How can you be afraid of a box? After all, you did come from one. So instead of walking into walls, try falling off one. Whoa. If you have an idea, don't be afraid to say it, no matter how crazy it is. One of the most important things you can do in the creative process is take risks. A creative agency is like a laboratory for ideas and experiments. A safe place away from the slings and arrows of outrageous clients. The wrong idea just brings you closer to the right one. In fact, the more wrong and outrageous the idea, the more useful it is. All things have their opposites. If you know the yin, then the yang must be its opposite. But if you don't speak up for fear that everyone will laugh at you, then you'll never know. When you nail that idea, it's a fantastic feeling. It took Thomas Edison over 3,000 failed attempts before he actually created the light bulb. Instead of citing this as 3,000 failures, he famously pointed out that he now knew 3,000 ways not to make a light bulb. Each brought him closer to the solution. The fact that the light bulb had already been invented, firstly in 1854 by Heinrich Goebel, no, not that one, and it was actually patented by Englishman Joseph Wilson Swan the year before Edison. I digress. Now I know what you're thinking. There's so many brilliant people out there doing brilliant stuff and it's all so intimidating. Why couldn't I write Gangnam Style? Why didn't I realize that nobody knows what the fox said? Why didn't I make Avatar? Why can't I write a free app that makes infographics? Yes, they're all brilliant people and brilliant technology, but they should inspire, not intimidate. Someone has to do the creating, so it might as well be you. Be original. It's the only thing you can do that nobody else can. And while you're trying to figure out whether or not this statement is profound or completely incorrect, we'll move on. Clients want to stand out. They want something new. Your clever idea will make them look clever. To do this, your work must be engaging. No, not that. A piece of content must hold people's attention and be memorable. It must deliver the message. It must also stand up as a piece of work on its own. You're trying to induce an emotional response. Laughter, fear, realization, surprise. Think of it like a joke. A joke works by misdirection, and the resulting surprise, laughter, is both rewarding and memorable. It also gives kudos to the teller. Humor is a great tool. Funny costs money, right? But it's not just about what you say, it's about timing, visuals, tie-ins, parody, and displaying a deep knowledge of your subject. If you want your content to stand out, you've got to blow people's minds. Great people change the world. They leave their mark upon us, like footprints in the sand. These people are my heroes. They all thought out of the box in one way or another, and they are unforgettable. Who have I forgotten? Oh yes, Monty. Oh! Don't be afraid to think outside the box. Don't be afraid.